Hi everyone, uh, we've just had the, um, the second onboard charger arrive for our Tesla, uh, so just thought I'd show you what it looks like uh, out of the car. So um, yeah, this is a, um, a second hand one that we've just um, landed for overseas, so um, you might have seen from one of the other videos that uh, there's a hole in one of these. Um, this is basically going in the other slot um, so the reason for this is mainly because we want to charge a 22 kilowatt AC um, as we're going to be hauling cars around the country we are going to be smashing through some elect electrons so yeah basically we need all the help we can get um, down the bottom is the sort of the water pipe just down there um, so that cools this unit and um, basically in here is where it connects to the uh, HVJB or high voltage junction box. Um, so this is what's going to be added. I've got the high voltage junction box down here. Uh, this is out of a Japanese car, so note that it is a bit different, but um, I thought I'd show you anyway. Take the lid off. So um, yeah, this, this came out of a vehicle with dual chargers. One goes here, one goes there. Um, so our car currently is just a single charger, so it doesn't have, I can't remember what side, but uh, it's only got two instead of four. So yeah, we'll uh, basically set it up to take the two and um, go from there. So um, yeah, that's it out and uh, we'll show you when it's in. One thing I've only just discovered is um, with just a single charger, we can only charge it, well, 3.6 kilowatt or something like that um, on single phase, which I didn't realize. So obviously the Model 3 is 11 kilowatt, but it does have the ability to go to seven on single phase. So yeah, three kilowatts, pretty slow when you are gonna have a 100 kilowatt hour battery. So this mod has become more, ne more necessary. Uh, now we started to add up the the numbers so um i'll just swing you around here uh we'll make a bit of a video about this but um car's looking pretty good not very happy with the add-on the sticker down the side but um we sort of keep these stickers out the back and just chuck them on stuff um and i don't think it quite shows off the swishness of the model s <laughs> um but uh yeah it's looking really good um so Brett and the team at Lakeside have done some panel and paint on it and made it look amazing. So yeah, we'll keep you posted as we go. Cool. That's the story.